Hey everyone, this is Norgile13 coming at you with another Shisha review. We are reviewing the brand new hookah brand, or Shisha brand, called 421, and we are reviewing New York Lights. Um, the cut of it, um, it's pretty much typical Shisha cut. It's very, it's not, there's not like any long stems or anything. I don't even like see barely like any stems or anything. Um, as you can see, it is very, very red dyed. Very juicy. Very, very juicy. Um, um, yeah, and we are smoking out of my Clittle Moon single pair hookah. And yes, it is kind of weird. I am smoking out of a Vortex Bowl. I have never used a Vortex Bowl for review. If you, if you are subscribed to me and watch all my videos, you would notice I use my hookah flip a lot. But, um, the hookah flip doesn't work for all brands. Like, for instance, all Fokker. Especially when they're juicy. Yeah, especially when they're really juicy. Um, sometimes they'll tend to actually... I know a lot of people with the hookah flip, they've said that it shouldn't leak juice. But some of the really, really juicy flavors do tend to drip a little bit. And then they'll... If you have the coals up too close, it will drip and burn the shit out of your shisha. So... And some just don't smoke right. And I did smoke the other 421 flavor um, Jolly Melon the other night, and I didn't do a review on it because I smoked it out of my hookah flip, and it just didn't feel like I got the full flavor and amount of smoke that you could get. Um, but yeah, um, so pretty much this flavor, um, the smell of it is... Reminds me personally of the Starbucks Code 69 smell. Yeah, it has a little bit of Code 69 scent to it, if, ever, if any of you guys have ever tried that. Um, it also, I'm getting a little bit of a floral smell to it. I don't... I thought it was a lotus leaf, and then that reminded him that he had some... Uh, what, what was that brand? Um, Hookah Fina Electric Lotus. Um, it doesn't smell anything like it. I actually like the smell of that a lot better. Um, strong. Yeah, however... The taste of it, you definitely kind of get a little bit of the taste of the Electric Lotus in this flavor. Um, nice and smoky, too. So, it, you can't really, there's really no specific flavor that I, that, I don't, that I can tell that they went for here. It's just kind of a mix of a lot of different things. Um, like New York is. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's New York Lights. It's a mix of a lot of different shit. Um, but yeah, it and... It also from from far away you kind of get like a like a, a small scent of kind of gummy bear almost too, um, but it's it's very interesting. Um, but yeah, the the taste of it. <laughs> what would you say the taste? Uh, it's like I mentioned earlier, it's a little nutty, but I can definitely taste like the lotus leaf on it. I've had. Lotus leaf, like I've smoked lotus leaf before, kind of re yeah. reminds me of it. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the flavor they were going for, but yeah. And then it, it does have a little bit of the the code sixty nine taste. It kind of yeah, it's just like a, a little bit, just like sprite or something like a yeah. citrus soda kind of taste to it. But too. it's a very tiny, it's very taste tiny, of that tiny code sixty nine, tiny little nutty taste, more flowery. But it's it's sweet. It's a sweet flavor, not. Not r robust, not very rich. It's yeah. more subtle. It's a very yeah. It's definitely one of those subtle flavors. Um, in my opinion, it's kind of one of those flavors that I probably won't smoke that much because I really I'm I'm a huge fan of flavors that are just like they pop really pop out. Like for instance, um, like Queen of Sex. That flavor is just intense. It always hits really good. It always tastes really good, and it always has a great amount of smoke. And I love that flavor. That's my favorite flavor of all time. Um, at least for now. Um, <laughs> um, How many favorite flavors have we had? Jeez. Yeah. Throughout times, the favorite flavor changes a lot. I'm sure everybody at one point had their flavor, favorite flavor of Blue Mist. Um, but yeah. Um, or Pirate's Cove. That, yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. Um, but yeah, the smoke... Pretty, smoky. yeah, pretty good thick smoke. Um, I have been expected that 421 was supposed to have pretty good thick smoke, and it's not very. It doesn't build up phlegm that much either. I've been smoking for about yeah. a half hour, 45 minutes now, and I haven't had to 
<coughs> clear my throat yeah. to keep hitting it. Yeah, it's definitely... It's this, much, it's I more have, smooth. I have noticed with this brand well, so far, it is definitely... It is definitely one of those flavors that you don't really feel any harshness at all. I know, I mean, I know obviously, you know, hookah, you really don't taste harshness, but with some flavors, you just get that little bit of, you know, kind of cough feel. This one has, like, absolutely nothing. On the back, it says, uh, they've got a their story, and about halfway through, I'll start it. It was there when they where they realized to enjoy a more precise smoke, it needed to be made by the finest tobacco, natural, clean, organic, and chemical-free. And they wanted to share this phenomenon with the rest of the world. That's exactly what they did when they released the 421 brand, because it's a wonderful smoke. It's definitely much yep. cleaner than Starbuzz, in my opinion. I still yeah. like Starbuzz. Oh, I yeah, really do. Definitely. I can't, you can't you can't go wrong with Starbuzz. <laughs> At least for some people. But this is a, a really really good alternative. It's definitely, and they're about the same price range too. You were saying so. Yeah, it's for a 250 gram. Well, that's and that's all that they smell right now, or not they smell. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that they sell right now is 250 grams from Five Star Hookah is the only place that sells it right now that I know of, to my knowledge. Um, it's still pretty new but for, for this, stores to be carrying it around here. Oh yeah, for if you have a local store that has this, they're keeping up with their shisha. Um, <laughs> Where is HKJ? Made in HKJ. Couldn't tell you. If anybody, if any of you know where HKJ is, comment and let me know because I would like to know that. Um, but yeah, no, for 250 grams, it's 18.99 on um, Five Star Hookah, and for you know 250 grams of Starbuzz, I think is about the same, maybe a couple bucks more expensive. And they, they're. I was reading on the back here, and their their main thing that they they use for flavoring is honey, so it's a nice natural yeah. smoke too. So it'll add a nice natural sweetness to it. Do they have glycerin in it? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay, so so pretty much, I mean, it's pretty much your average shisha made with the same stuff, but it's a little bit more kind of organic and a lot more smooth, not as chemically as, I know Starbuzz can have a lot of flavors that smell very chemically, yes. um, but I have noticed, like, for instance, Starbuzz has stopped using dye, uh, but as you can tell in this one, they put a lot of fucking dye in it, so I don't I don't know if that changes the flavor or smell or what. I don't know. I don't personally know, but it's definitely so far it's a good brand. Not my favorite flavor, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not too. Yeah, like I said, I really like the robust, very flavors that pop out at you and are really intense. And I like candy-like flavors. And I this is more of a chill flavor. Yeah, and coming up next, sometime soon, I will be doing a Jolly Melon review, which I have not smoked out of the Vortex Bowl yet, which I'm hoping is going to be really good, because out of the Hookah Flip, it tasted pretty good. But, you know, like I said, some brands don't get as good. Don't really bring out the flavor as much in the Hookah Flip. Starbuzz, star, like, things like Starbuzz and Fantasia are the only ones that I have found to be really good out of the Hookah Flip. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's... You know, for the for brand wise, it's I'm really liking the brand so far. Um, kind of disappointed it doesn't work out of the hookah flip because I use that a lot. Um, I mean, Almost other than exclusively that, exclusively these days. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, for all of you guys, I mean, most people don't even use a hookah flip. I mean, to our knowledge, at least. Yeah, to our knowledge, and at least, and through all the hookah reviewers that I've seen online, I've never seen anybody actually do reviews on hookah flip. I seem to be the only one that actually that actually uses the hookah flip for reviews. However, you know, I do... This is... If you look at all my reviews on YouTube, Starbuzz is the only brand that I have reviewed except Hydro, which was the first um, video that I ever put out on YouTube, and that was Hydro Sunray Orange. And that's the only other brand I've ever reviewed, but I've been looking really forward to this brand, and so this is the third brand that I've ever reviewed. So, but... It gets its namesake, because they discovered the correct uh, combination of everything on April 21st. Yep. So... And which is now also, apparently, the new, um, hookah holiday. You know, like, all, every, you know, 420, you know... All of you know that holiday. If you don't, you need to kind of educate yourself a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's kind of 421 is now known as the hookah holiday, pretty much. 
That's um, all right. It's a good chill day. Yeah, exactly. And I'll definitely be participating in it next year. <laughs> I kind of missed out on this year because I didn't realize it, but... Uh, one of our local head shops, actually, they've got a 420 sale for all of the, you know, marijuana-related stuff, but then on 421, they have they had a hookah sale going where they had buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free, depending on the yep. size, and every single purchase that you did came with uh, some Starbucks shisha. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they're, they're actually getting into it and hopefully they promote it again next year and yeah hopefully they promote it a little bit more in my opinion <laughs> i really hope yeah. they will actually because that head shop they don't actually do any sales on tobacco itself like any shisha or star buzz they that's just, our state's fault though because we're, we're from minnesota here and we've got strict laws on all of that stuff yeah. so they're not allowed to what is it it's uh give any incentives that may cause uh, smoking underage or otherwise yeah pretty it, much it's to prevent addiction issues yeah so but yeah i mean other than that i mean it'd be nice i'd love it if they would give us discounts next year especially for now that this new era i guess you could say has started but i just wish they'd take the smoking ban out of where we live yeah exactly yeah <laughs> we kind of have a smoking a shitty smoking ban situation where I, we live so i mean we only have to drive five minutes to another city where we can go to a hookah bar but that's yeah, still exactly we, we can't have one down the street from our house yeah okay. pretty much but other than that, sorry for the really long review. I'm sure this is probably a pretty long review, but yet again, brand new brand, you know. We got to you got to let us, you know, let you know all about it. So, other than that, it's a really good flavor. I definitely well, not a really good flavor in my opinion. It's it's a good flavor if you guys like floral type of scents and some, and tastes and whatever. It's it's a quality flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it is a quality flavor. Quality um, brand, quality flavor. If quality I were to not be shape. biased on this, I would definitely probably at least maybe give it like a 4 out of 5. If I weren't to be biased on it. If I were to be biased on it, I would give it maybe a 2 or 3 out of 5 for this flavor. The brand, I would probably definitely give a 4 or 5 out of 5. I'm gonna go with 4.5 for now on this on this brand because I've only gotten to try the one flavor. Yep. And once I get to try more fruity flavor or candy like candy like flavor, I'll get a more yeah uh, informed decision on the brand itself. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, other than that, it's a pretty good brand, good, decent decent flavor. I would definitely recommend trying the brand. I would definitely recommend going out and going to Five Star Hookah or looking at your local shop to see if they have 421 and buy some 421. It's If your thing is floral, New York Lights, good flavor. Otherwise, I don't know, try yeah. one, post a review and let us know. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.